he's pulling line good now. Folks, I'm just gonna let him run for a minute. How's it going, folks? Joshua the Fisherman here. I'm heading home from the river. Let me tell y'all, it was a good trip this morning. I caught a big old gar on light tackle. It was actually a pretty cool catch because I hooked into him once and I lost him. I didn't get a good hook set on him. So I rebaited up, seen where he went, followed him over there, pitched another bait out in front of him and he hit it, let him run with it for a little longer. That way he could get the hook at the back, towards the back of his mouth, set the hook. He was buttoned up good, fought him, got him in the kayak, got some good footage, got some pictures of him, sent him on his way. I hope you all enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed catching the fish. As always, be good to the people you come in contact with and be blessed. There's a gar right in front of me. There's a big old gar right in front of me. Oh, that's a good sized gar. I don't know if y'all can see that. The camera's picking him up. That's a big old gar. He just came up and grabbed air. Folks, that's a huge gar. It's right, in, he's right under that bait. Oh, oh, he took it. He took it, I'm gonna let him swim with it. All right, folks, I'm gonna let him swim with it. Make sure we get a good hook set. That's a big gar. <laughs> oh. He's still swimming with it. All right. I'm gonna close the bale. Really no. Got him. I got him. No! Oh no! He spit the hook. Oh, he spit the hook. That is a monster gar. Okay, okay. We're not out of the fight yet. I still got cut bait. Oh, this is all tangled up though. We gotta get to the bottom of this right quick. Alright, folks. I got that tangle all taken care of. I lost sight of that gar. But I'm kind of just gonna float around right here. I've got another piece of cut bait on. Everything is set back up right. I wish I, I knew I should have let him swim with it a little longer. But I'm gonna try it again. I'm just gonna look around for him. Oh man. You know, I don't even I don't know what I'm gonna do if I hook into him and actually get him hooked good. I don't know if I'll be able to get him in the kayak with me. I'll at least try to get y'all get y'all to where y'all can get a good look at it. There he is, folks. Our gar. At least it looks like the same one. Is sitting right there. I don't know if the camera's picking him up or not. He's sitting right under that overhang. Well, you gonna eat a second time, friend? Let's see if he'll swim out to that. I wanna try to get it a little closer to him. I can't, okay, he's facing. Okay. I need to cast further up. spook him. Oh, that's right on top of him. He grabbed it. 
he's chewing on it. The gar has it, y'all. He ain't even going under. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. He's going to swim right underneath me. I don't know if y'all are picking that up. If y'all can see him. That's a good size gar. He's cruising good. He spooked. He saw me and he spooked. Okay. I'm just going to... Alright, he's pulling line good now. Folks, I'm just going to let him run for a minute. I don't know. Y'all can see the line coming off. He's cruising good. I'm going to let him run. It's a small hook. I've learned that gar, it's easier to catch them on a small hook. You just got to be patient and let them get a good, get that bait worked in their mouth good. Okay. I'm just going to let him load up. Okay. Okay. I think I got a good hook set on him. Okay. He's swimming right at me. Yeah, I think I got a good hook set. Yep, I got a good hook set. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Folks, can y'all see that gar? Can y'all see him? Look at that gar. That's a good size gar right there. Trying to make sure the camera's getting this. Oh yeah, I got him hooked good. Okay, what I'm gonna do, adjust that. Bear with me, folks. I'm trying to get my ducks in a row. Oh, man, that's, that's a big old gar. Okay. try to land him he's really you know I'm pretty impressed he's not going crazy oh he didn't like that okay I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him all in frame. I hope that that is in frame. Look at the size of that gar, y'all. That's such a beautiful fish. You know, people talk, a lot of people talk bad about these, but these fish are just beautiful. I mean, they're, they're, they're prehistoric. I mean, they're, they're like a dinosaur. I basically just caught a dinosaur I did. Go to thrashing. Make sure. Okay, camera's getting that. Look how big that gar is, folks. That's the biggest fish I've put in this kayak so far, without a doubt. Caught him on an ultralight rod with eight pound braid and a six pound fluoro leader on a piece of cut perch. Oh man. It does not get better than that, folks. Look at that fish. Look how pretty he is. And I'm glad he's being docile right now, because if he wanted to, he could be causing me all kinds of fits. Now, camera angle's probably going to start getting bad, because I'm going to try to unhook this fish. So I can get him back where he belongs. Another thing you got to watch out for, folks, gar scales are sharp. So, got a pretty good hold on him. Get my pliers out. The old trusty multi-tools. Everyone, everybody, doesn't matter if you hunt, fish, or you don't do outdoor activities, everybody needs to have a multi-tool. 
Okay, I gotta switch hands. All right, dude, I'm gonna get you out of here as quick as I can. All right, the hook is out. Folks, I don't know how much of this is in frame. Look at that gar. Just look at absolutely how pretty he is. All the spots shining. Here we go. Buddy, it was a pleasure to catch you. I hope that you go get even bigger than you are now. Keep being a cool dinosaur fish. Let him revive a little bit. I imagine when he feels froggy, he's going to tear out of my hand. That's what it's about, folks. Catching cool fish like that. Go get bigger, bud. Look at him go. They're just cruising off. Ain't in a rush or in a hurry or nothing. I bet he's going to come get him some air. Hopefully y'all can still see him I'm cruising off. Later, bud. Well, folks, that was fun. That was really, really fun. You know, and he didn't, oh, that rod settled. He did not fight a whole lot. You know, I kind of figured, oh, there's a burr in the kayak right there. That's a line killer if I ever seen one. I don't know if y'all can see him over there. He was just cruising along the bank. Oh man, that was fun. But what I'm saying is he didn't really fight that hard. I mean, he put up a little bit of it, but he was kind of just chilling. I'm gonna check my line. See folks, and that's the hook. You don't need a big hook when you're gar fishing. You really don't, a small one will do it. And my experience as well, like a fillet of you know, a chunk of bait will work, but it might be a little harder to get that hook set. I've always found that if you use a fillet of bait, a real thin piece, your hookup ratios are usually better with the gar. All right. Well, earlier when I first got on the water, I was telling y'all I wanted to catch a gar on the ultralight. But hey, I caught one on the light action rod. That's a start.